Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a custom material and then how to apply it to your part. It's actually pretty easy. To begin with, I'm going to expand my project manager over here and here you can see I have a project called CCS Blog Projects. Uh, so here I'm just going to create a new folder within my project. That's optional of course. And I'm going to call it My Materials. Now there are a bunch of ways to create materials. Um, the first would be to create it locally within a project, another would be create your own library and then reference that library in future projects. But maybe this is just a material we're going to only use for this project or project template. Why not? Okay. So here I'm going to say my materials and now I'm going to go in here, I'm going to right click, choose new document. I'll go to the advanced tab here and choose material. Like that I have a new material. Cool. And I'm going to call it concrete. Beautiful. It's going to be an unclassified material because it's not an alloy or anything like that, so I'm just going to leave it as unclassified. I'm going to call this as uh, description standard concrete. You can give it a part number if you so desire, um, but I do want what I do want to do is define a texture to it, and if you click on here, you'll notice that you have a drop-down list full of textures, and in here you have things like bamboo, you have different forms of concrete, so you can choose the one you want to work with. I'm going to choose Concrete 3 for this sample. Looks good to me. Um, the reason why I have these to choose from is because I have the right library referenced in here. So for example, we have a Top Solid Textures library. If you don't have yours listed in your project, no problem. Go to References, right mouse button click, choose Reference Library, and go choose the Top Solid Textures or choose your own texture if you've created it already. So now that we have that done, we can play with the offset of the texture a little bit if we want, but the most important thing, and this is for calculating of weight, we need to put the density in. Now I'm not an expert on concrete, so on my other monitor here, I used Google to look up the density of concrete. And here I have some lovely information, so it seems that 2400 kilograms per cubic meter is the going rate of concrete. I'm going to move that off my screen and I'm going to go into here and change to kilograms per cubic meter and 2400. Beautiful. I'll hit save and my new material has been created. Okay. After that, we just need to apply it. So if I close this, I have this part and to apply the material, I can just take it and drag and drop it into this document. And now this part is going to be now made of concrete. Silly, yes, but for sample sake, it's fine. Uh, if I go to my parameters list, you'll see concrete's now listed. I'm going to hit save once, and now, based on the size of this part, this is the new weight of this model. The advantage of using textures are that you can go into realistic shaded mode, and now you have those textures mapped on your part, which is kind of fun. Anyway, hopefully you found this tutorial useful, and with this, you can now create your own materials to be used in your designs in Top Solid 7.